excited to uh, really finish up what we started. Gosh, it was back in mid. Let me get to where I want to start here. Um, back in mid-December, when we started this whole series, and I'm going to go back to, um, if you go to our Team Extreme website and go under training, let me get over here under team training. And it's this last one that's just been, or actually first one that's, that is sectioned out here is all of our kind of our journey on this dreaming big, intentional goal setting and strategic planning. And so what we did first was create those dream boards. From there, then we got into, if you remember this life assessment, and really kind of looking at all those seven areas that we focused on. Um, and, and we broke them out here, friends and family, finances, future, fitness, faith, faculty, fun. Those were our, our buckets of goal setting um, that we focused in on, that we dreamed about. And then we came over here, we did a life assessment to say, okay, now I see those areas where my growth areas and where I can really hone in and create some goals. And if you were with us at our last coaching chat Zoom, we honed in on that future, which, which was all about our business. And hopefully as we focus on dreaming about where we want to go with our business, creating goals, that now this week we're going to put those goals into a plan. So hopefully each one of you after... It was January 8th, this call, you sat down and literally began looking at what goals do I want to set for myself in this realm of business, this future? Where do I see myself going with the Juice Plus business? And so if you've not done that, I'm going to challenge you guys to do that. And if you look, it's broke out. So we've made it really easy for you. Because there's only so many areas of our business that you can, that, that we really do focus in on. And that's attracting prospects, customer acquisition, customer care, distributor attraction, distributor development, personal development, and then that income and position achievement, achievement of where you want to go. So when you think about writing these goals, think of them in those categories. And I think that'll help you. Um, I know, I don't think I've posted that call from January 8th, where we really dove in and, and, uh, and I went through my own personal goals. So if you want to go back, I'll, I'll also... Um, put that call in on Boxer and on Team Extreme Facebook page. But what I wanted to do today was to say, okay, how did I take my goals and how am I implementing those business goals? I'm doing this with all my goals, but we're just going to hone in on the business goals. So that's where we ended from our training. And I am excited and pumped to show you guys a new tool that I've known about, but I've not really embraced. And I started embracing it as my new way of uh, planning for 2024. And it's called Trillo. Now I know Aaron's very familiar with Trillo. Who else is familiar with Trillo? Anyone else on here familiar with the app Trillo? Is Aaron the only one? I know Brenda's been working on it. I can only see a few of you, but it's free. You can, you can, obviously there's a, a one you can pay for, for more bells and whistles, but the main one is free. And so what I did was, and I'm going to go down here. I took, I went through all seven of those categories and I created my goals for 2024. We're only going to look at this future, which is business. So remember that, that, screenshot I just showed you, you can print that out or you can take a notebook and write down those areas. But what I did was take a look. I went from that life assessment 
and said, what areas based on that life assessment in the business section, what areas do I need to grow in? From there, I put it on that paper I just showed you. And from there, I'm like, okay, I want to not have papers all over my desk. I really want everything to be in Trillo. This is like my big notebook. And so I put it in here. So here were my business goals that I wrote down after I filled out that life assessment. Number one is I wanted to create a daily plan. I've got that done and I'm going to show you my, my daily plan for the business. My next goal was to print and display my dream board. So I've got my dream board created, but I, I don't have it displayed yet, but I'm going to, and hopefully you'll see it behind me here in the weeks to come once I get a frame and get it printed. My third goal was to make 10 connections every single day. And what I've found is I am tracking those connections on Teensy, but what I wasn't doing was creating a plan for the week. And that, I think what I realized by not having a plan, although I was tracking, not having a plan, you know what I did? I was very faithful to make my five partner connections and I was very faithful to make my three customer connections. But the goal, the area that kept getting missed was those two new prospects a day. That if I, if I didn't hit a goal, that area of those 10 connections daily, that's where I would fall short. And the reason was, is I didn't have a plan created. And so I, it, I can't, reiterate this enough you guys we have to have a plan for the week it this is our business if you worked for someone else you, you my guess is you would have a plan it would be forced they would be creating a plan for you we're our own business owners now so we have to do it for ourselves so I'm going to show you kind of how I'm holding myself accountable for that goal you know another goal is to read six books uh, a business books and six health books this year. And I'm looking over near my little reading area and I've got my, my health book out there and I've got my business book that I'm reading and just committing to a chapter of each a day. We all can do that. That's not overwhelming. And you'd be surprised 52 weeks, 52 chapters. That's a lot of books you'll knock out in a, at least in a, in a year. Um, goal five was to connect with prospects first daily. And I wrote that so that I will be reminded every time I come in here and read my goals. And I'm loving having them on my computer. On my, This is my, business, my, my personal dashboard, and I'll show you my business dashboard. But having them in my face every day, that's kind of been my downfall throughout the years. I set goals but I don't review them like I should. And so I'm excited about having Trillo. To, you can have it on your computer, your phone, your iPad, all three, which is what I'm doing. So that you have all this right in front of you to keep us on track. And back to what Brenda's saying is to keep us focused. We all, we live in a world that is so distractive. I read a book recently called Dis Driven, Driven to Distraction and it's so true, the world that we live in, that we've got to figure out ways to stay focused. Um, goal number six there is commit to monthly online events. Um, and, you know, so one of my goals that I've created and put in here is to connect with Sandy, Shelly, and Edie. That's our Peachtree City team. And not just to do one month in advance, but to do 12 months in advance so that we know what live events we're doing in 2024. And then lastly, to really utilize those position forms that we have in Juice Plus. When we, when we went through that series where we were breaking down those forms, kudos to those of you who went through that process with us, we had more promotions than ever in, in my business. And so we're going to circle back around and we're going to go through those position forms so that everybody on here knows what they need to do to get to their next position. And they can turn around and communicate that and have calls with their with y'all's downline and teaching them what they need to do as well. So those were my eight goals 
in my business area. So how do we turn these goals into a plan? So here's what I'm going to show you. So this is my personal, uh, I'm sorry about this. This is my personal dashboard that I look at every day. But when I'm ready, when I'm working Juice Plus and, and we can do, and Aaron, I'm not seeing you on my, I can only see about five people, but I'm going to pull you in because I know you know Trello and we'll do, and maybe next week will be our week is that we'll really, if everyone will download Trillo, we'll take time to really begin to train you all on Trillo. Um, you have all these different boards. So this is my personal board. So all this is kind of personal stuff I have to do. But here's my Juice Plus board. And so I took those goals. So y'all, we walked through what my personal business goals are. And you see this, this is my weekly plan. And I've committed to myself that I'm going, I'm going to create this plan every single week. And so we're just going to walk through it if you guys don't mind. And hopefully this will give you an idea. And you guys may even see your name sprinkled over through here. <laughs> and I'll explain that in a minute. But here's my here's my goals when it comes to new customers. Or here's my game plan. So we, we looked at my goals. How do I turn my goals into a game plan? So from a new customer standpoint, I, I have two new customers that's been referred to me that I need to reach out to. So I'm going to do that today. And then I've, I got a new customer and I just realized, hey, I didn't tell her. Um, I got two trio customers, her and her husband, and I forgot to tell them they were going to be getting free complete packets. So I want to reach back out to her today and talk about the shred that opens the door to the shred and hopefully she'll love the packets and they'll get those too. So for my new customers, that's my plan for the week for those new customers. Now I may get more that I add to it, but that's my new customer action steps. So for my current customers, here's my action steps. I've got to reach out to a customer who kind of gave me two different tech text message this is, that didn't make sense of what she wanted. So I got to reach back to her. Another customer needs gummies. Another customer, I need to do some work on her order and when she wants it to go out. So it looks like I've got, oh. And so here, if you remember, my goal is to make 10 connections a day. So I want to at least connect with three customers daily. So that's three of my 10. If you remember, if I go back, so I've got my goal set up, but if you think about it, if I go back to here, I go to my goals and right there, goal number three, 10 connections daily, two prospects, three customers and five partners a day. So how am I going to remember to do that is by going over here to my action plan. And if I'm looking here, I know I got, I want to connect with three customers today. Does that make sense? And I'll add to this as I go on a daily basis. Um, one of the things, part of my plan is, is to, you know, we all, it is simple, simple, simple to reach out to inactive customers. When we're thinking about building our customer base. So if I look here, I just, I just literally started going down through Teamsy. And let me kind of go back. You've heard me say this a million times. Systems are a dime a dozen. But if you want to be successful, you better have one. So whether it's a hard paper and a notebook that you go and you've got a list of your canceled customers or you've got an Excel spreadsheet or you use Teamsy, the system doesn't matter. It can be as elaborated or as simple as you want it to be. You just better have a system when it comes to just keeping track of your customers, your prospects, your inactive customers, your partners. This Teamsy is more of, so I'm sorry, Teamsy is more of a, um, what do I want to say, kind of a notebook with all your information. I see Trillo and how we have an opportunity to use it. This is our action plan. 
So you kind of need two different things. You need a system and then this is our, our action plan. So I went to Trillo, uh, not Trillo, I'm sorry, I'm going to really confuse you guys. I went to Team Z, I went to my inactive customers and I said, okay, what customers, what inactive customers do I want to connect with? So I'm thinking of Heather Graham, who I know she wants to stay on Juice Plus. She just isn't real good about being faithful. But I know every time I call her, I get her back on track. I, I think of Heather Smith. I think I can turn Heather Smith into a partner. I think her season of life is good right now. She was an old customer. I think I can bring her on as a partner. Paula Davis is a partner who I know she wants Juice Plus. She's just very, very busy. And she's called me and said she wants it. I keep calling her back and she doesn't answer. I just got to get a hold of her. Lindsay Bowman, she went through a financial challenge, but I know I think I can get her back now. And Wendy Almond, same thing. Just not real, um, you know, we're all different. Love all these people. But it, it sometimes it just takes some people as you. That's what we're here to do is help people on their health journey. And I know a conversation with Wendy, I can get her back on track, get another order in. So I know at least four of the five, I think I could probably get orders this week from. If I take the time to call those inactive, and I guarantee you, you guys have inactive customers that a simple phone call and going back to maybe, I'm going to go use what Brenda just posted on. I'm sorry, I keep pointing at you, but I'm getting excited. <laughs> um, I know what Brenda posted from Me to Ray. That thing is awesome on um, Team Extreme website, or not Team Extreme web, Team, Ex or Team Extreme uh, Facebook. She posted it. I'm going to use that. I'm going to send it to all these people and say, look what you're missing out on. Let's get you going again. That's all you have to say. That form will do the talking for you. So I'm excited. And here's something else. When you look at your plan, have something that you're going to connect with people, something new that you want to connect with people about. And I think what Brenda posted on Mitra Ray is the ticket. I may use it for the entire month as I connect with people. So let's all embrace that form and let's get busy. That's the hard part is figuring out what are you going to say? What are you going to send them? You got it. We have it. All right. So that was my inactive customers. Here's my, my prospect customers. So I went to my prospect list and who have I been dripping on? So I know Tina, it, it, it was right before Christmas. I just need to get back in touch with her. So I need to call Tina, Sharon Griffin. I know she wants um, the Omegas. I just need to create a cart and send it to her and say, hey, we've talked about this a dozen times. Let's go ahead and get you going on your Omegas. This this is a big chicken list. I literally months ago had Brenda help me craft a text to this doctor. And have I sent it yet? No, I am here to confess that I'm a big fat chicken. <laughs> so that is that is this week. I got to get that done. Send it out. Um, this gal I talked to, she's interested. I just, you know how you send a few texts back and forth or emails or conversations and then you drop it. And that's my own fault. So I'm going to see if I can't get Renee Davis. I bought, I was on the phone with her buying flowers for somebody. This is a long story. Okay. This is when Linda's aunt passed away. I sent Linda flowers. She knew Linda. She knew how beautiful Linda is. And we got talking about how young Linda looks in the connection with Juice Plus. That's how we got on the conversation to Juice Plus. I'm telling you guys, we miss opportunities that I'm speaking to myself every day. One, when we don't talk about Juice Plus and two, when we don't keep following up. People want this, we have to just keep following up. Um, Frank was a referral, but it, it was a one-time order. And then I sent him some berry blends, blend. he's, he's doing the gummies. So I'm gonna try to, Upgrading to a trio from a duo and turn him into capsules versus gummies and turn him into a reoccurring customer. So that's my goal with Frank. And then 
Kyle and Lainey. Kyle is my HVAC guy. Between my house and all my rentals, I have spent a fortune with Kyle. Kyle and Lainey need to buy Juice Plus from me. <laughs> and I'm going to get an order from them this week. They've said they want it. He knows he needs it. So I need to just stay on them until I get the order placed. How many people do you, and I guarantee you, if I hadn't have made this plan for this week, I would have forgot about these people. I would have forgot about these people and it wouldn't get done. It's getting done this week because I have a plan. We have to have a plan, you guys. And I'm speaking to myself. I'm not preaching at you. I'm I'm preaching to myself. What do I say? Preaching to the choir. Current partners. So if your name, if you see your name on this list, these are people on, that are direct to me. If you're under Brenda, then you're not, your name's not going to be on here because it'll be on her list. I want to do calls with all these people and I want to walk through their positions of where they're going and really process what do they need to do to get there and really help them to create a plan because I want to see all these people um, who I know. And the other the other thing is if you're a QSSC on here, do you have your ticket for the leadership conference in April? And if you're not a QSSC, let's get you a plan to get there before April so you can go to this conference. I know it's going to be phenomenal. So if you haven't gotten your ticket, get your ticket. If you haven't gotten your your flight, get your flight. So and then I know, okay, I'll come back to this in a minute. There's another reminder there. Um, okay, so that was what I want to do with my partners. And then I've got two prospect partners who one is, I know right now he can have four quads already because I, I just got another new customer. Um, I know this is my nephew. He's in the school system. I want to connect him with Letty because we've already talked about the towers, him getting the towers in the schools. He and his wife are on the quad and then his brother and his wife are, are just now new customers. Of mine. I'm going to say to him, you got four quads <laughs> and you can start selling tower gardens tomorrow. Let's get you going. Let's get you signed up as a partner. And then this gal here has been on my mind for months. And it's my goal this week to call and schedule a coffee with her and say, won't you join me? I'd love for you to be a partner. She lives in my area. So that's my prospective partner list. So let's see, do I have any more? Um, oh, and then I've got some inactive partners. Whoops. That I want to reach out to. They, all three of these people could be absolutely phenomenal, but life gets in the way sometimes. So that's my plan. I'm telling you what, if I work that plan like that every single week, how many people am I connecting with? 5, 10, 15, 16, 20, 25 people. That's good. If we all connected with intention, with focus, with at least 25 people. And I'll end up talking to more because I'll talk to a lot more partners, but at least I've got my focused ones this week. If we talked to 25 people and had a plan, imagine where our business, and we did that for, we'll give ourselves two weeks off for vacation. If we did that 50 weeks in 2024, what do you think would happen to our businesses? I'm asking myself that. I think we would have an explosion in our business. It's back to what Brenda said. What's our focus? Are we really focusing or are we just doing Juice Plus? And I am here to confess, I my mind's been scattered. And I'm doing Juice Plus, but I'm not focused like I should. This plan, make it a plan, forces us to focus. So 
I'm going to shut up. <laughs> and now we're getting, well, in here, I'm just going to now show you as I talk to people, these are people, these are direct to me partners. I'm going to start as I do my coaching, I'm going to track what we're saying and what, what the plan is for each of these people. So that when we circle back around and talk again, it's not just a bunch of talking. It's really honing in on how'd you do here? Did you connect with this person? Did you connect with that person? So let's utilize each other with our calls to really hold ourselves accountable. Who's going to hold you accountable? Who's going to hold, who's going to hold me accountable? Figure out who's going to hold you accountable to your plan. And then, you know, I've got, these are people here. These are people who are doing at least a thousand a month. There's no reason they're not PB qualified. Here are people who they are doing at least 3000 in POB that I want to do my best to help them get back up into POB. If they've fallen out, a lot of times we, we promote someone and we fall out of POB. So let's get everyone, whoever was in POB back in POB. And then those new ones, let's get them to POV. And so I have I went through my PVC report and I have a list of the people I want to connect with. I'm sitting here. And then this last section, these are just some project management things that I need to do that is listed. So, okay, now I'm shutting up. I know I just hit you with a lot, but here's my question. Who's on board with the Trello planning? Anybody? I don't want to intimidate you and I'll let Brenda share because I just told her about this on Saturday. Um, and I want to hear from you too, Aaron, if I, I'm not seeing, well, let me, I'll stop sharing just for a minute. We can always come back to this. Okay. I hope I didn't overwhelm y'all because it's actually pretty easy, but it's a way to do planning that I have not been doing. I've been tracking, but not planning. So who's in, who has questions? Maybe, maybe let's hear from either Brenda or Aaron or anybody else who has used Trello before, and then we'll take some questions. Wait, Brenda, you're on hold, mute. Um, I have spent the last week of my life going through the pile of papers that I've had from the last two months. I don't want to do that anymore. It has taken forever. And I love that everything can be on here. Mm -hmm. And I was really surprised at how easy it was to set it up. So I think I can't recommend it enough. I'm not good at it yet, but I'm excited about it. Thank you. Erin, you want to give a plug for it? Yeah, I, um, I've been using this for a while, but you know me because I don't like to write things down or... <laughs> It's a great way to do it, though. If I would do it, it's awesome. So some things that I do love that are on there is I'll just make a, you so you can make a card for each customer or each person, and then you take notes within that. So it's really fantastic for keeping everything where it goes. The other thing that you can do is you can create, um, you can put like a timer um, create an event so that if you know that you need to follow up with that person in two weeks, you can put a reminder for yourself there and it'll pop up in reminders for you, which is super cool. And then, so what I've done in the past, which thank you for encouraging me, cause I'm going to get back on this is I'll move those cards, like have my 10, my hot hands list mm -hmm. for the week, or sometimes for the month, I'll do that. And I'll pull all those people that I need, I know need to be over there in that list. I'm sitting here thinking too, I probably, and I do love Teensy. I have so much information in there now, but it's almost kind of like you could eventually wean yourself off of Teensy and just keep it all into Trello. You, I think from using both platforms, the benefit is Trello is free mm -hmm. and Day. it just your information stays there it's very very similar except the only thing that it's not doing is populating for you people automatically to call okay. which for teamsy -E, i wasn't doing already because i knew who i needed to contact mm. all right so you've heard from three of us let me hear your thoughts questions comments 
I have a question. Um, so I always record all my activity on Teamsy. That's one thing I like is you can say what you did, text or call or email or what you sent them. I'm sure that you can do this, but just double checking that everything, could that all be pulled from Teamsy and moved on to Trello? Like all your I, all your past, you know, information? I mean, you'd have to manually do it. I have a lot. I don't know that I'm going to let go of Teamsy. I think it's worth it for me for Teamsy. Because I am sitting here thinking with Trello, and let me go back over here. Um, because if I'm looking at Trello, and let's just say, let's just go into these customers. I don't, I wouldn't put it, every time I connect with a customer, I record what's been said. And I go back before I call that customer again and say, what what, what was last said? I wouldn't put it under description. I wouldn't put it as an activity because I don't want that showing up as something I need to do. Um, I if there is a notes section, Elaine, go down. The other thing, so the uh is there and maybe there's not. So I guess I put that under my activity for that day. Is that that's where I'd put take my notes there. And so then it dated it on when I when I talked to them. The other things that I would do was I would um, make, you can use in here the labels. And so I'd know, I'd, you can create labels that will, that will, that will show up for everything. And so then I would say, you know, like they're on the trio, whatever, I'd put them on there or, um, or maybe things that I'm hoping for prospect wise. So I'd, they'd have colors so I could see and identify on the carts. Um, the next thing that I loved is there's a checklist that you can automatically, automatically create. And then that checklist, then I could say, okay, did I put them in project broadcast? Did I put them in my, in the customer Facebook group, you know, and, um, you can create checklists there for yourself to make sure that you've done all the things that needed to be done for the customer care there as well. Yeah. So I think it, Back to your point, if I'm looking at all this, Allison, um, if I look at your point, back to your point, Allison, I don't think it'll do like we're used to in Teamsy. So I'm like, uh, I don't know that I'm going to let go of Teamsy. I think I'm going to keep Teamsy more of kind of my notebook with all my notes and information in and my, my tracking, but use Trillo as my planner. And Elaine, maybe too, if you haven't started with Teamsy, this is a great way to do Yeah, it. I agree. If you don't have Teamsy and you don't have all the history I have in there and probably Allison too, um, you know, you could just figure out where do I want to keep all that information. You could do it in here. It's just, I think if you're used to Teamsy, you've kind of got a way of doing it that you may not want to change or you may be worth it. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I'm sure Trello real quick is like not tracking your progress, not mm -hmm. giving you stats, that kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. And the benefits of having um, Teamsy is everything, all your, you can download all your Juice Plus customers, all your Facebook connections. So there, there's benefits of both. Mm -hmm. um, but at least from a planning standpoint, I would use Trello. It's a and great if, maker. And if you don't have Teamsy, then go ahead and do all of it in Trello. You could do all of it in Trello if you wanted. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody's being quiet. You got, did I overwhelm you? Thoughts, questions? The other cool thing, one more cool thing that I do love about Trello is like, you can make an event and you can make lists and you can share it with other people. So it's almost like a, yeah. um, you know, it's like delegates out. Well, and here's something else that it's worth getting a Trello account is if you guys look at this, I pay Stacy Whitmer to do this for our team. And, and I don't know how many of y'all know this. 
here's all kinds of social media that she's already created. If you want to oh. do, we come up with February, look at all this heart health stuff. All you have to do, look at this. She's got the verbiage and then look there. <clears throat> she's got, you could use it as a story. You could make posts. Look at that. It is so, I mean, there's so much unbelievable stuff in here. So like, like what Aaron's talking about is if you have Trello, we would just share that board with you so that you could use all of this information. So just if, if you do nothing more than get on Trello so you can get a hold of all this social media stuff, by all means, do it. Look, it just keeps going on. Engagement stories, general health posts, general health stories, Instagram, um, shred 10 stories, juice plus product deals, tower garden, tower garden, um, and see all the verbiage is there. That's just unbelievable. Uh, Brenda and I are going to start pulling some of this stuff and with our um, project broadcast that we'll send out to everyone. So you can, you know, if you want it little by little, you'll get it that way too. But in, you know, I can't recommend it enough. Let's utilize this tool. Um, okay, let me stop sharing. Any more questions, thoughts, comments? Elaine, where was that that social media thing? Is that on the, the drop mark? Or is that on the Facebook page? Um I I here's where I'm gonna put it because I was like, I need to put it. I had it somewhere and I thought I had it on Team Extreme. I uh, just checked featured. It's not there. Not that's where I'm gonna put it though. So that okay. if okay. you have Trello, I'll put the link, I'll create a post and put the link in there so that once you have Trello, all you have to, I don't know, Aaron, do you know how to, if I put, is there a link I can put in there and that way people can just join once they have Trello? I'm looking, hold on just a second. I would think so. That way, keep talking. It's going to take me a minute to answer the question. She's going to verify that that'll work, Karen. But that was what in my mind I was thinking I would do. That way, I don't have to send out personally invite. You know, if if there's a link that everybody can just go right there and get, that'd be great. All right. Any any more thoughts or questions? We got about ten minutes before our time's up. This has been really helpful, Elaine. Thank you for going through such Good. detail and Good. how you organize and look at things. You know, I, I wasn't that, I've heard the name Trillo, but I had no idea what it was. Um, and I'm, I'm glad you're gonna consider making that information available outside of Trillo for people that aren't on it like myself. But that's a great advertisement for learning how to get on Trillo. <laughs> and using that as a tool yeah and you just download it like you would any other app it's free and I to me I feel like it's the I think if we want to treat our juice plus business like a business we have to make a plan a weekly plan and execute the plan and I think that Trillo is an excellent goal to help us you know, another thing, too, is if you want to tie some accountability to it, Trillo, you can be friends with people. You know, you can have joint boards and maybe maybe you decide who's going to be your accountability partner to hold you accountable to planning and then executing, you know, dreaming, goal setting, planning and then executing that. That's the process of moving us along in this business. So what you may want to do is join, have a board with your accountability person and, you know, you're, that's where you show what you've done for the week. Um, so just an idea. I know that accountability doesn't sound very fun, <laughs> but we want, I mean, if we want to build and grow our business in 2024, let's back to Brenda's comments. 
Let's really hone in and focus on what that's going to take. And that is making a plan and executing that plan. And one, let, let's take it back even further from back to December where we started making a dream board. If you haven't done that, let's do it. And maybe we'll make a checklist um, and say, have you, have you made your dream board? Have you written out your goals? Have you then created a way, whether you want to do Trello or you want to do it on paper or on um, Excel or however you want to do it, are you creating a plan every single week? And then lastly, how are you tracking it? Are you tracking it on Teamsy? Are you just checking it off on, you know, a paper list or, you know, whatever. But those elements in this whole process, all those four those four elements have to be present to for us to really move along. We've got a dream. What do we want with this business? What do we want to accomplish? We got to set a goal based on what we're dreaming about. And it's got to be written. Once that goal is written, then how am I going to make a plan to ensure that I do it and know what to do? And then lastly is, am I, am I tracking it? Do I know I'm doing, I'm doing that plan day, you know, the plan I've created for that week and it, it's extra work, but it's, I'm thinking, I'm looking at this book I'm going to read and I guarantee you this process is going to be in that book. It's called 10 Xing your life. How can I get more out of the time? We're already multiplying our time by being in a network marketing business. That's one of the benefits of being in a network marketing business. We're able to, to truly, you think about the people you connect with about Juice Plus and then who do they know? And, and it, 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 it 10 X's our ability to connect with people. Um, I couldn't, I think about, we have five or 6,000 customers every single week or every single month that we sell Juice Plus to. If it weren't for network marketing, could Elaine Mason connect with five or 6,000 people a month? <laughs> Absolutely not. So our ability to connect and to make money is because of network marketing. And the same is true for what we're able to accomplish if we're not willing to dream, write goals, create a plan and execute that plan, we're going to get a fraction done as to what we could get done. So let's 10x our business by having a solid process that we do week in and week out for 50. We'll give ourselves two weeks off, 50 weeks out of the year. I'm committed to making a plan and executing and doing those four those four things. And I hope you guys are too. All right, I'm going to shut up because <laughs> we have uh, six minutes left. Any more questions, thoughts, comments? Does it, how many people by show of hand or throw the little hand up on the screen, how many people feel like this is doable? Oh, look at little Hazel's raising her hands. <laughs> How many people are willing to do it? Who else wants to? Cynthia, Jelaine, who else? I'm looking for hands. Dale, Kathy, Brenda, Aaron. Are you willing to do this for yourself? This is for you. This is for you. Let's, let's make 2024 be extraordinary. And, and we have the ability to do it. I'm sick of blaming it on COVID. I'm ready to put that three-year time frame behind us. And I'm ready to start growing and building again. And I hope you guys are too. So thanks for being on the call. Um, I know this isn't, I'm going to stop the recording now.